Hey, what's going on everybody? In this episode, we're going to learn how to download software on Ubuntu using a package manager. Now, if you're on another Linux distribution, say Red Hat, it's going to be different. So you'll either need to stop using Red Hat and use Ubuntu for this video, or figure out the equivalent commands for Red Hat. Why is this exactly? Well, Red Hat uses yum, and Ubuntu uses apt, I just call it apt, which is advanced package tool. And these are both package managers just for different distributions. So we're gonna stick with apt-get for this video. So basically here's the command to install different software. So pretty much anything you'd ever possibly want in life is already made and you can find this through a package system such as apt-get. You can look through available packages by going to packages.ubuntu.com and here you're going to be able to search for anything you'd want such as YouTube download. Now pay attention for this box here. If you want to go by package name or description, we're going to go by description here. We'll hit search and here are the different packages available such as this one which is what I was thinking of. But I'm going to be showing you how to do all of this from the command line so we can go ahead and switch over to that now. So here we are inside of the terminal and the very first thing you'll want to do is issue two commands. So we'll say sudo apt get update and sudo apt upgrade and then if we're prompted with any questions we can hit yes by passing in an option here hyphen yes. So this is basically an all-in-one command to get you fully up to date with any packages out there. So we'll hit enter, put in your password, and this is gonna take forever. It also depends on your internet speed. So there's two parts, there's updating packages and upgrading packages. Updating will basically get the most up-to-date available packages, and then upgrading will actually install all the latest updates. So you update first to get the latest repository and then you upgrade to install all of those changes. So basically when you have a fresh install of Ubuntu, you'll probably want to issue these commands so that you have everything up to date. And I've had this impact me before where I'm trying to install some software, it wasn't quite working right because I didn't issue these commands. So when you are done with that, and you issue some command that you would expect to work maybe from prior experience, for example, type vim. Well, it says command vim not found, but can be installed with, and it gives some options. So this is telling you how to install the software using apt. You basically say sudo apt install, and then the name of whatever you're trying to install. So we can say sudo apt install vim, and vim is just an example software you might want something else out there, but that's going to install it as well as any dependencies or other software it needs to run. Now when we say vim, you can see something happens, and this is just a text-based editor. So I gotta remember how to get out of here, colon, q, there we go. So now what we can do is we can list all of our installed packages by saying dpkg hyphen l, and that's going to list out our packages. This is an interesting table where you can use the arrow keys to scroll over. And you can scroll through here. Got a lot of stuff installed. And eventually, after scrolling enough, you can see Vim is right here. That can take forever, so if you want to specifically check if something is installed, you can use the S option. So dpkg hyphen S Vim, and it'll give you the information about that package. If you put something that isn't there, here's what's going to happen. So how do we see what software is out there? We say apt cache search and then some name or description. YouTube download, for example, hit enter. And it gives us a list of options that might fit our description. So for example, this one here, YouTube DL. So that's how you could figure out what the name is. And then you would just say sudo apt get YouTube DL. And do not forget the install keyword. There we go. Yes, we want to continue. And this is specific to this software, but once you have that installed, you should be able to use the command YouTube DL and pass in a URL. So we'll say YouTube DL, grab some URL from YouTube, paste that there, hit enter, and uh, it broke. Uh, well, I guess that installation didn't go as I planned. However, this does bring us to an interesting point where you can install software manually 
using a download from the internet. So in this software's case, the installation through the package manager didn't quite work. So we can actually get a .deb file, Debian, which Ubuntu is based off of, from the internet and install it manually. So here's the web page for YouTube DL at packages.debian.org, which you can just download one of these and save file. When you do this, it might warn about it being a security risk, which you can just click allow download. Once that's downloaded, that'll show up in your downloads folder right here. And now let's figure out how to install from a a.deb file. So let's go to the terminal. We'll say sudo apt install dot slash downloads, and then the name of that file, hit enter, and that will install the software. And now let's try it again, YouTube DL, and we'll paste some address in here, paste, and that'll start downloading the video. All right, that just downloaded, and I think we should be able to go see this somewhere. Uh, the videos, maybe? Where does it go? Ah, oh, there we go, in home, here is the video. All right, there we go. Honestly, we should probably try to download VLC. We'll see if that works. VLC followed by the file name. And there we go. This is a really good open source video player. Another cool one is GIMP, which is a photo editor. Pseudo apt install GIMP. And we'll see if this works. And there we go. You can edit all kinds of photos in here. And pretty much, like I said earlier, there is an unlimited amount of software out there that you can try, and it's really easy to install and use. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace out. Subscribe.